Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In this episode, I found a pair of max level Brontos that I'm going to tame up. And Kraken's better dino buffs them. And I wish the Bronto TLC was like this. One thing is that their stats are really, really increased. Well, some of them are. Except for Oxygen, I'm pretty sure. But uh, they're going to need a lot of Tranquilizers to knock out. Uh, I need more rifle ammo. Alrighty, I found this guy the other day. It is a 150 male Bronto. Look at those colors. So, Dodo Dex says that it should have about 19,000 Topor. And this one has 34,000. Just to put things into perspective. And 21,000 health. Wait, will I even have enough? Alright, and it, this is actually a really good spot for it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heave it off just a little bit and I'm gonna bring it over this cliff uh what I have 85 darts and 179 uh arrows yeah there should be nothing around in this area that wants it dead what's that over there oh pa pachycephalosaur all right uh one more hit just because it has 21,000 health is it just me or is, like that's a lot for a bronto isn't it Alright, park up here. Uh, Stego should be fine. Alright, now, passive. Let's get to work. Yeah, there's nothing down there. This might take a while. Alright, where, where is it going? Where are you going, mister? Are you going to come back around anytime soon? Come on, yeah, come on. You don't like me, do you? Come on. That was weird how it just ran away. Uh, let's just hope I have enough space on my computer for this recording. <laughs> yeah, all still good? All still good. Alright, back to it. Is it Topor running finally? I've pumped what almost 70 darts into it? Yeah, this next one will be 70. That uh, I'm gonna have to do this again. Yeah, it's running. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna wanna corral it so it doesn't land in the water. Even though it probably won't drown because it's so tall. Uh, I don't see any ombres around here. Alright. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Other way, other way, other way. Oh. Uh. Come on. Turn. Turn. Alright, if I go right here. Shoot it a few more times in the butt. Yeah, I'll be fine. You know what? We're doing the rest of this on foot. Because it's exciting. To Actually, I should probably check. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Don't land in the water, stupid. Alright. I'm just super duper focused right now. Are you going down anytime soon? There it goes. So 83 darts to knock it out. Oh my god. That took forever. There's a 90. I know bad hombres around. So the reason why we tamed up that Packy Rhino in the last episode was for this exact reason. So if I go C and if I go right click, I'm going to try right click. It hasn't been working a lot recently. Uh, with this, it should only take like 9 minutes to tame up. I have a bunch of kibble from my reindeers. Um, come on. I guess not. Alright, let's see. Oh no, I'm stuck. Alright, one more. Nope, that's not going to work. Alright, passive. Everybody's on passive. Yeah, it has a little food symbol up there. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna throw in. Dodo Dex says it's gonna need what? 18 kibble? 18 kibble. So I'm gonna throw in 20. Uh, so check out these stats, okay? I'm gonna compare the base stats of the Bronto normally to the buff stats of the Kraken's Better Dino one. And, uh, a lot of you will probably realize pretty fast that this thing is pretty busted. And now, we wait for 9 minutes. Ah, there we go. That was so fast. Awesome. Alright, let's check out the stats real quick, and then we're off to tame the female. Oh, did you... Oh, you didn't eat... Yeah, you didn't eat all the kibble. It d did take 18. Alrighty. Uh, let's see here... 44 into health, that's pretty high, and the rest are pretty even across the board. Uh, check out those tamed stats, 5,000 weight, 26,000 health, whoo, that's pretty good. Alright, that spot right above where the titanosaur's head was, was where the we tamed the pachycephalosaur, I mean pachyrhinosaur in the last episode, and the 150 was like right above below where I'm standing and now it's nowhere to be found uh I totally should have just tamed it when I had the chance uh all right how about I look around for like three more hours let's say and because of the queen bee bug <laughs> the bugs are bug going on right now I think I'll probably end up doing a dino wipe since it's just me on here it's impossible for me to like you know kill every single dino on the map maybe until i get a giga that'd be fun well back to searching um in this whole playthrough i've never been to herbivore island yet that's surprising uh what level is this textego 114 i'm looking for some brontos anybody seen some brontos now that i'm level 82 uh, let's do a bit more weight level 82 i unlocked the bronto platform saddle uh, yeah, I have enough engram points. Uh, there's also the, uh, S plus Bronto saddle platform or the Bronto platform extension. I'm just going to get both of them. Oh, and the chemistry bench, but I, uh, don't have enough engrams for that. The Bronto saddle needs, uh, silica pearls. So, uh, right here on the map, way up by my fingers, uh, is where I like to get mine. Because you don't really have to go into the ocean much for them. You can find some normally right on the beach. And then there's some right in the shallows. Usually. I don't know where they all are. But more are usually found right on this side of this tiny little island thingamabob. See like this one right here. Super easy to... Whoa. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right right in here. Uh, one couple. Just a couple. Good for if you don't want to go into the ocean. Uh, man, I hate the ocean. The Bronto platform saddle needs uh, silica pearls, which is pretty rare for a saddle, all things considered. Uh, it's made in the smithy with all those things. Uh, the Bronto S Plus uh, snappy saddle thingamabob is made in the S Plus smithy. And the better dino... Where's the... Oh yeah, I put it over here. Uh, the Better Dinos one is made way over here, Bronto. Do I have enough for it, though? Yes, I do. Uh, and then we're going to go check it out. I brought the Bronto way up here because it has some special abilities, let's say. Uh, so we can plop on the saddle, and I think I already showed you guys the increased stats. So yes, you can build on its back with the saddle, like normal. Uh, let's check out... So. This one, okay, let's check out, 9 is the S plus one, so it snaps to the saddle. Alrighty, and with it, I believe it adds snap points. Uh, let's go, okay, snap points for a wall, yeah, snap points for walls with it. Uh, can you remove it? Oop, wrong button. Oh, can you not? do that okay you have to look here and then pick up the saddle platform so it kind of like takes a long time like the trees now let's try out the better dinos one so it snaps to the edge 
far. It stops to the edge, and I boop lag. And does it? Yes, it also has the snap points for walls and whatnot. Interesting. So they're basically the exact same thing. Can I soul ball you since I built something on your back? No, you can't. Or can you put both structures on at the same time? Ooh, look, if you look right there, it's jiggling around. Have to place platform before other structures. Okay. Interesting. So let me try that again. I'm going to place you down. And then I'm going to place you. So they both snap. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh no, can I not get it, take it off now because it's like stuck? Ooh. Alright, from right here on the neck, if you go... So, here's the extension, here's the platform, and they both make it so you can't pick the other one up. So it looks like I'm going to have to demolish one. So let's demolish uh, probably the better dinos one. Yeah, let's demolish you. Oh, it takes longer to, to demolish it than to pick it up. Interesting. Did it also... Oh, it looks like it also broke the S plus one while I was at it. That's interesting. So you can only have base... So if you have both of these mods installed, only do one at a time. Yeah, because I'm not getting anything now. That sucks. But the Bronto has changed a little bit with Kraken's Better Dinos. Uh, the stomp attack is increased to 70 base damage. Okay, yeah, it gets a lot of... So left click. Interesting. My bad, it's right click does a just little stomp attack. And depending on where you're looking, you can do it with all of the feet. So it's good for anything that gets underneath. And C is a big old two foot attack that if you notice there, it can harvest metal. And I believe it can also m harvest meat. So it can harvest everything now. And it has a base damage of... Oh! 110. But the right click attack is the one that does 70. I believe the normal tail swipes unchanged. So if I swing on over here... If I do the C attack, sh do I get obsidian? That's a lot of berries. Huh, it doesn't look like I get obsidian very well. But yeah, the... This is how the Brontos TLC should be. Uh, I increased the structure limit on platform saddles a lot. So I'm looking forward to the future of building something nice and big. But yeah. Uh, so stomp attack. Little stomps. Uh, and massively increased stats. Uh, in exchange for it takes a crap ton of tranks to knock out. I dig it. Now, back onto the rest of the episode. I missed it. It does get obsidian. I have good news and bad news. The good news is I finally found a beehive after all this time. The, and the bad news is I don't know if I'll be able to tame it. Because I gotta see... Okay. A, is there a bee in here? Yes. See? I hit that one and all the bees came out. And they really don't like me. Alright. If I just keep doing... Okay. Okay. If a bee hits me, my RG falls out of the sky and I'm basically dead. So I just gotta keep dancing around all these bees. And slowly whittle away the health of this beehive until the queen pops out. There it is. Queen bee. Giant queen bee. Alright, now I'm going to basically run away so the bees stop being mad at me. Running away is one of the best ways to get rid of all your problems. I bet you didn't know. Alright, I don't know why it's not landing. It just keeps popping out. Why is it stuck up in... Jeez, everything wants to kill me. What level are you? 20? Alright. Why is it up there? Okay. Ooh, I got rid of all the bees in one hit. Alright, I'm gonna try 
It's only going to need one piece of kibble, so I'm going to fly back home real quick and see if I can find the uh, climbing picks. So they take simple kibble to tame. Alright, is it still not moving? Alright, I'm going to come park the urge over here. I did make an extra uh, uh, bug spray. Bug. And I heard that if you have a chibi attached, uh, it'll still attack either way. So I got full ghillie, bug spray on. Okay. I'm going to try and climbing pick up to it and just pop a piece of kibble up its butt. It'll only take one. Nice. Alrighty. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, come here. And uh, it gets a bunch of minions. And because... Yeah, alright, come here. Uh, I'm going to soul ball you for a second. Alright. So, because I'm a person of my word, this bee, you, shall shall be named uh what options change name you are going to be rogue viper because rogue viper said a really nice message on the very first video and i said i'm gonna name a, them after a b because it was so sweet get it ha 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 so soul terminal i'm gonna plop the soul terminal how do i disable snapping oh, snapping disabled all right it's g uh, I'm just going to put it right maybe here for now. And then I'm going to put you in here and then go to options, automation, and then Queen B honey generation. And now it should generate um, generate honey. Uh, but since you're like probably like, oh, um, doesn't it need blah, 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 blah. I don't know. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around to beehives, collect. Wow, it is really freaking dark get 50 more honey and i'm going to make the beehive so it needs 50 honey and 250 rare flowers and this domesticated beehive doesn't have a bee inside of it but it waters plant plants nearby uh and it also doesn't sting you when you go into it yeah it's a uh, it's awesome there's another beehive right here, so I want to see if I can run up here real quick while I still have the uh, bug repellent on, and I want to see if I can just harvest up some honey, and if they'll get mad at me. Okay, they're there, but they're not mad. So now I'm going to climb back down. I want to see how much... Can I jump? Alright. I want to see how much a single arrow does. Okay, where's my... RG Justin. Yeah, we had a little uh, bloodbath here. So, just one arrow does. 89. That is not a lot. Oh, look at the colors of that one. Climb on up. Almost. Nice. Alrighty. Oh. Okay, that hurt. I, I got stung by a couple bees while I got up there. I don't have any spare soul balls on me, do I? Do you have any soul balls on you? Okay, yes, you have... Not so -y. Hey, so, two bees. Nice. Look at the colors. Uh, Gamma 4? That is Gamma 4. Like, that is a very Christmas bee, and I love it. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you... A level 20 alpha t-rex so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go stand right here and passive five and i'm gonna shoot it once maybe twice hello so it basically registers that i killed it kind of towards the chibi so now we just come over here i'm gonna eat up the corpse so it doesn't accidentally eat it and heal and i'll just stand here and go like this Yay! Awesome! Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, full on slot. So let's see what we got. I've, uh, Chibi Tropio. I'm gonna. I've just been dropping all the, uh, Chibis that I get from Alphas. Uh, 
Did you have anything in your inventory? But huh? That was a dillo. Alright, uh, I guess I'm taking the rest of this prime back home and cooking it up. So, uh, time for the new inst installment of Dillo Be Gone. Dillo Be Gone. So, I was just flying over here. I'm looking for stuff. Home is right there. And right over here, if you look right there, a 145 tappy tape jar. We just call it a tape jar here. Because pronunciation is hard. So, first of all, gotta clear out the zone of anything that is not nice. Actually, it looks pretty nice and empty in here. Uh, tape jars are super duper skittish. So I have my full ghillie suit on. Full ghillie suit on. You're on passive. Yep, full ghillie. So, bola. Alright, and sneak. My... It'll only take three darts to knock out. Gotta get nice and close. Alright, can I hit it from here? Yes, alright. And it'll take three headshots. According to Dodo Dex. One, two. There we go, all tamed up. Uh, I left the Packy Rhino over here to defend it, but uh, it, was it was just being attacked by raptors, so that was pretty scary. Uh, get over here, you. How are your stats looking? Uh, 30. 46 into weight, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go back and I want to show you what these bad boys can do. Alrighty, let's get a good look at you. So plop you out. Nice and green. Very nice. Alright, I did whip up another set of Valerian Reigns. So normally, the Tapihara... Oh, hmm, I didn't know they could walk backwards. Uh, they have an ability where they can latch on the walls. Uh, can you flip around? I do not know. Uh, however, when you're latched to a wall, you can actually use weaponry. Now what if I back onto you? Oh, oh yeah, okay, so now, now we're aiming down. And then you can just get your tranks and aim and shoot. It's pre pretty handy, a little uh, disorienting. I think they're faster than an Urgy. Uh, but let's put on the Valerian Reigns and I want to show you something cool because normally in the air you can't use Rider Weaponry. But here's where the fun begins. Can I put you on like this? And now, now if I go like this. Ha, <laughs> look at this. So I can, oh, that's new. Alpha Carno level 40. But now I can hover around and trank whatever I want. Oh, and they, uh. They're all over, like, they can, uh, strafe side to side. That's the word I'm looking for. Super nimble. Like, uh, how are they looking overall? Wait, does it give you extra stam? Let's see. Land. I, I just love the look of them, too. If I take you off. Yeah, the stam, so 712 up to 890. All right. The Valerian Reigns are so cool. And you can just park them. Oh, what, you can't? I th always thought you could... While y'all weren't looking, I went and finished the roof for the up here place. Uh, next up, I gotta bring up some, like, I'm gonna put the uh, cultivated beehive right here to water all the crops. But underneath, I want to put an industrial cooker adventure eventually. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna bring up a water pipe up from there into, like, maybe this area and put a spare faucet up there just to be safe. Uh, I'm also going to uh, change the model of all these windows. Um, probably to get rid of some of the lines. I think I'll leave the vertical ones, but like take out the horizontal and I'll see how it looks. Yeah, I'm really digging this. I took out uh, some of the second like uh, outside edges to the triangle ceilings up there just to clean it up a bit more. I think it looks pretty nice. Like it looks almost reinforced, but you can see clearly through it. I like it. I like it a lot. For the last bit of this little episode, I think we're going to make that domesticated beehive. So I made one thing of bug repellent, popped that on. Uh, I think I cleared out the area, and we're just going to run around and just gather some honey. Oh, what are you doing? Fall? Yeah, that's fine. And here's the highest concentration of beehives I think I found. 
Uh, so what did I just get me? 15, so I'm gonna have to do 4. Hey, pal, don't, uh, knock into me, eh? Wow, that was very Canadian of me. Come on. Why can't I get this one? I just... Oh, you see it? There we go. Alright, and now we'll climb back down. Uh, and there should be... Did I already get that one? I don't know, but I'm gonna go try this. And... Oop. Got it. Oh, hey! Hey, 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 hey. Uh, RG, get it for me. What the heck? Alright. What level are you? 20? I can take you. Alright. You have been absolutely useless. And I think... Put all you in there. Did, wait, did it not say... Han... That's what? Not enough. I need to do a couple more. I don't know where I got the 50 from I only get five bee honey uh, Wow get them come on so I'm gonna have to do uh, ten hives instead of four like I thought uh, Actually come here. You have my cooks prime on ya. Well, I'm low goodness uh, Cooks prime Alrighty just a, just a couple more needed uh, did I just get that one? I forget. Uh, let's keep looking. Like this one right here. Ooh, I am low. Why am I so low? Is it from the terror bird? Alright, don't mind the fog. So, do I have enough domesticated beehive? Just pull for one? Yes, I do. So, it needs 200 fiber, 50 bee honey, 250 rare flowers, and 100 thatch. And it takes a long time to craft up. Oh, did it just finish? Beehive? Yes, it did. Alrighty, that took a long time. Uh, do I have any rare flowers in here? Yep, I'm gonna take those. Uh, it took so long to craft. Here, buddy, get out of the way. Uh, how about right, nice and centered? Oh, that looks pretty good. Good job, me. Uh, so it doesn't attack you when it open up, when you open it up like normal ones. Throw some in here, and give it a second. Yeah, well, all the crops are full of water. I don't know if it'll say irrigated or not, but uh, now we can start making these farms. You only need one seed to get started in a crop plot, but I just have a bunch, so salver root. It only puts the one in... Can you not put more? You can't, I guess you can't put more in there. That's interesting. So your salver root, uh, you're going to be rock carrot. You'll be long grass, and you need poop. That is, ooh, making, that was making good honey. Nice. Uh, do you have fertilizer? Yes, I'll take you, put you in. Yeah, citronol. You'll be the last one. Yeah, awesome. Nice. We have a farm. You make anything yet? No. Uh, with that, everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, I think next one, we're going on a bit of a road trip. I will see you then. Bye-bye.